gonna remember we're not using this spot as your little crap pile anymore. I found all of your crap over there and I moved it all. Wait, where'd you move it? That's up to you to find it. <laughs> Ooh, the lens is very dirty. That's why your face looks so weird. <laughs> best friend. We're gonna swim for a while. What are you gonna have for breakfast? I went to the store and I got a big thing of bread and they gave me more bread. So now I have to go through six pounds of bread. I guess we have to have some bread for breakfast. Oh! Why do you have this one? Jenna, I gotta start somewhere. Oh, she's gonna have fake toast. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast it. So it's technically toast. It's toasted rice. She calls this toast. No! Does toast have to be bread? Probably. You're gonna get so much crap for that one. I'm watching it burn right now. I don't know when peanut butter takes place in this. Oh, I got it. Yeah, here, keep it rolling. We pre-prepared our peanut butter. You never want to wake up at 5.45 and have to prepare your jar of peanut butter. That'd be cool if I had a shirt. It's a business. Usually the technique for this is to turn it upside down before you stir it. We'll do it for a second. What? What do you mean, what? Look at the task ahead of us. Because we still have a lot of liquid still sitting on the top, I'm gonna start with a fork. You don't want one of those cheap forks that bends. You want zero bend in your fork because you're gonna put it to work. As you can see, it's really solid and clumped up. How long am I gonna be here? You really don't wanna rush the process because the last thing you wanna do is just splatter peanut oil all over your jar that you're gonna be using for the next several weeks. Then your hands are gonna just be oily. Right now, I just wanna be poking holes in the side. <laughs> Excuse you. Is this is gonna be a how to serve your peanut butter <laughs> Tutorial! And that's what we want. That means there's... <laughs> As I was saying, the, the peanut... <laughs> the peanut particles are floating up to the surface. And slowly, that murky liquid will... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it will change states. It will go from a liquid to a solid, but very slowly. <laughs> You're working with five pounds of peanut butter. Everything happens really slowly. <laughs> Weird. Why is she toasting her rice? Oh gosh, gotta be careful. It's not burned here. Yeah, it is. Where do I put this one? In your mouth. Work. Then you can get into all the nooks and crannies. How many calories is one of those? Like five? No, you're just the head of my sandwich. How is it? It is. Glowing review. Mm-hmm. Wanna see the pro move here? Got a slice on a bias. Like a sausage. Yeah, exactly.
800, 400, 2 times 200. <laughs> and then a 600, 300, and two 150s. 400, a 200, and two 100. The long swim is just find a good aerobic rhythm. That middle distance swim, negative split. The two swims at the end are 80% and 90%. Are you going to wait for me at the top of every round? very easy to let everything blend into one speed. I think I'm allergic to swimming fast when the camera's out. But for a set like that, you gotta be disciplined enough to switch gears. <laughs> and get after it. Last round, 400, 200, and two 100s. This is a silly workout. Last one. <laughs> Doing. 102 on the first hundred, 57 on the second hundred. That's the end of that workout. We're just kind of cooling down. We will do some running later, but more importantly, we're gonna eat. Can I tell you something? Sure. My butt cheeks get really cold when I skull like this. Because they stick out of the Look. water. For the games. Turn into you. So we just finished a hard swim practice. Later today we have a long run. So we need to refuel. Sorry, I'm gonna start crying. So we're gonna do a big gigantic omelet. Our veggies in the pasta. We are gonna cook the veggies inside of the egg. No, put the egg in the pan and that's gonna start cooking. Okay. And you put all the veggies in there and you sandwich them in. That's a sandwich. No, no, no. An omelet is definitely not a sandwich. <laughs> a lion. Oh my God. Oh, pork or chicken? Pork. We went to our favorite Mexican place, Quente's Taqueria. If you're in the area, go get some tamales. They put so much meat in there. We don't know how they do it. Oh, don't forget about these. I'm, you're, I'm filming. I do this professionally. All right, Jenna, what's the strategy to a good omelet? I don't know. Pasture-raised eggs, happy chickens. You're the one that usually makes the omelet. Salt as you go, everybody. Got another key to making a good omelet. Ooh, do you want to put the eggs in a bowl or something? Clean dishes. Your eggs are on the counter, my dear. Pasteurized. Ooh, do some egg boxing while we're here. Spot and... Who's Spot? Well, I'll call them Freckle. Spot and Freckle? No, this one's Freckle. This freckle. one is nothing. Lamo. Freckle and Lamo. <laughs> oh! Lamo. <laughs> Freckle's cousin is gonna avenge him. God, Lemo! <laughs> How many eggs are we doing? Four. Four and egg whites. whites. Freckle's other cousin is here. Freckle three? Freckle the third, actually. Freckle the third is Lemo. Yeah! Yes! Bye, Lemo!
You want to spray it versus put oil? Bye, friends. Whoa. That's how you do it? Can I show you how I do it? Did you see the omelet that I made this past week? It was exactly perfect. Do you trust me? I... No, 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 I, I want to see how you're no. doing it. No, 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 I want to I wanna no. see your perfect omelet. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to go sit down now. No, hey, <laughs> it's too bright over here, come back. <laughs> All right, I want to see your omelet. You gotta loosen the edges. Pull it up, tuck in some of the liquid on the edge. Mm -hmm. Trust me, this way is more fun and active. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you just go, oopsie daisy. Oh yeah. Looking a little funky, Jenna. No, it's it's rustic. Okay, now we put the top. You want me to put a little bit of taco seasoning in there? ASAP. It's cheese time? Yeah. Is that the cheese we're gonna use? Do I just do a slab or can I chop it? Chop's much better, right? Veggie time? I don't trust myself for the flip though. Oh, you that need part. me to flip your rustic omelet? Yeah. I don't think we can fit the rest of it in without compromising the integrity of it. Don't worry. You can leave that to me. You just press it down like that? Yeah, why not? Tamale! Alright, one rustic omelette coming up. <laughs> You know, most of my omelets turn into scrambled eggs anyway. Okay, I just want to say that if I did it my way, this wouldn't have happened. Okay, weak spots that are prone to crack. Oh yeah, so you're blaming that crack on me? Tomato. So it's been a couple hours since omelet and tostadas. Now we're doing a nice long run. This is literally my first run since Worlds. I'm gonna start a little earlier than Jenna. 90 minutes, nice and easy. I feel like a few weeks off is never a bad thing, especially in the off season, you know? Then we'll eat more, because that's the theme of whatever we do every day. Look who I found for the rest of the run. All right, leg check. After the century ride, I started having a little bit of pain in my piriformis. Shocker. So my first run, literally in a month. As of right now, everything feels okay, especially now that the sun's out. I thought our run was gonna be kind of a rainy run. Yeah, that's why I dress like this. I yeah, can't remember the last tights. time I wore pants. Salad for lunch? You mean tamales. Yeah, Sorry, salad. tamales and salad for lunch. Yeah. And then tamales for dinner. A <laughs> good tamale to vegetable ratio. Yeah. <laughs> okay, lunch? This is not clean. Wow, you're so relatable. Wow, I love that, Miguel. I also never clean my dishes. <laughs> so today for lunch, we're gonna make $20 salads. We should have a name for these salads. Brooklyn salads. The beet cake salad. Regular ingredients in a bowl. And then they charge you $20. I also brought out the quinoa so we can make it like a warm grain bowl. Okay. Oh, you want to add a teaspoon of chicken? 14 extra dollars. <laughs> so first we're going to do the base. Chicken avocado ranch salad. You can just toss that in, add some greens. The rest of our spinach. We got to go get some more spinach for dip. I think it's good to give your spinach a little tear. I got some Brussels out. And is that okay? I don't like raw Brussels friends. I know you don't. You can do, okay, let's just. Add as much Brussels as you want. Let's just do some Brussels. I'll live with it. There aren't like big chunks. 
cheese. More mushrooms. All right. Cucumber corn, black bean salad. Plus it has like a little bit of dressing and seasoning. Do you want it? Half of it? That's $12. Three quarters? Let's just do the whole thing. Whoa. Feta? Or do we have the Mediterranean feta? Gotta chop this up. Oh uh, yeah, it gets a little chunky. chunky. Okay, that's probably good. Can do some chicken. How much did you say? Twelve dollars? Pumpkin seeds? Actually, like three bucks. Pretty expensive. Do you want dressing? Yeah, drop that out. Avocado ranch dressing though? Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take over for some tuna action. First, we need a bowl. What are called Old Yeller? We have our chicken and our chicken of the sea. Because we are triathletes. Well, where's the chicken on wheels? Rinse and recycle, people. Everything seasoning. Ooh. What is it? Spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. All right, Jenna, would you like a warm grain bowl? Yes, please. You're going from like $22 salad to like $32 grain bowl. Are you prepared for that? Financially, no. Well, you know what? Today, on the house. Will you just clean? Nope. <laughs> it's not that fluffy. Maybe it'll get fluffy right now. Is that wrong? All right, we're gonna leave that in there for just a moment. We forgot to add our favorite ingredient, potato. Oh. Slow roasted these. How long do you do them for? Two hours. And they are Buttery. Um, you know what else you need to put in? Hmm. Avocado. That'll be an extra like $30. You don't want to clean your knife. Some people like a messy workstation. I like a messy knife. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this knife. Let me fix that for you. Thank you. Okay. Hot! Just health in a bowl or what? Not even kidding, this would actually be $16 at Sweet Green. It'd be more. Oh, well, the extra protein, that's like $3. How many minutes in are we, first of all? I think we started... Uh, right now it's, ooh, see, I was very close there. You wanna get ahead and, and wipe that up. Clean as you go. Just be very careful. It's like, <gasps> oh God. <laughs> So, on it. What we have right now is a classic, I rushed the process. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little technique here, and I brought out a bowl. Keep the mess contained. Put the lid on this guy. And we're letting gravity do the work for us. And we're starting to break up the hole. You can see mm. the air bubble up here. Means we can shake it up. That's a good sound. Can you hear that? Yeah. Why do we eat this one? This is one of the best deals at Costco. Ooh, see that what that technique did? But yeah, I'm personally afraid of Costco. So I don't I don't go in there. You only had one experience at Costco. Yeah, and it was a nightmare. Alright, now we're dealing with just like the big main chunk. See that? Oh. I'm confident enough we can start to graduate our utensil. I don't like the wooden spoons because they tend to be a little bit thick. This is good because it's pretty rigid and it's got a nice blade. When you go to that next level, you gotta take it slow. Don't rush the process. And the best method is to just do this up and down motion. 20 minutes have elapsed. Are you getting sore yet? It's part of the game. Almost 30 minutes have gone by. <laughs> My elbow kind of hurts. Look how vascular <laughs> my arm is right now. <laughs> you kind of have to get to a point where it's good enough. Do you see that, Jenna? I do. It looks really good. That's peanut butter, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Jenna, what are we doing? Making dinner. Yeah, what do you want? A tamale. All right, let's <laughs> open the fridge and see what we got. Go team. A loaf of bread for Jenna. <laughs> With some ravioli. And a gluten pile. Kahlua pork, spinach feta. Turkey patties, he wants some salmon, cauliflower, potatoes. Potatoes. Butter. This is a true rustle up challenge. This one's the best. You need to crush your garlic. I feel like we could both use your drink right now. It's a nice jacket. I like the hood. I'm gonna do ravioli. Jenna's gonna do the gluten-free option, a little rice packet that we heat up. It says cook for 90 seconds. That's wrong. Cook it for 60. Accompany that with spinach feta turkey patties. 
and a little sauteed veggie mix. All of that should take only about 10 minutes to cook, which is what we like. Thank you so much, Hungry Root, for making my life so flippin' easy. So I clearly went a little overboard with this edit, and I apologize for that, but for those of you that did make it through this whole video, um, please leave a comment below on, uh, on Jenna and I's engagement. Um, we didn't actually get engaged, but please just leave a comment acting like we got engaged uh, so we can see how many people actually made it through this video. And uh, freak people out a little bit. Yeah, and we, and we thought this would be fun because we want to see people freak out a little bit. Uh, so come up with something good and maybe we'll send you uh, a goodie of sorts. Thanks for joining us.